five minutes. That's how long it takes to fill up your gas tank. Now imagine charging your electric car in the same time. Not 30 minutes, not an hour, five minutes. 100 miles of range. And you can do it every single day for the entire life of the car without degradation. This isn't Tesla's timeline. This isn't some startup's PowerPoint dream for 2035. This is happening right now in Israel. A company called StoreDot has shipped these batteries to over 15 global automakers. Polestar just demonstrated a 10-minute charge on video, and they're planning mass production in 2025. If you own an EV or you're thinking about buying one, this is the technology that decides whether electric cars actually replace gasoline. Because let's be honest, nobody wants to sit at a charging station for 40 minutes on a road trip. Nobody wants range anxiety, calculating if they can make it to the next charger. And nobody wants to spend $15,000 replacing a degraded battery pack after eight years. 70% of Americans cite charging time as a barrier to EV adoption. Range anxiety is the number one reason people don't buy EVs. Battery replacement cost $5,000 to $22,000 depending on vehicle. The battery is the heart of the EV revolution, and Israeli companies are in a global race to build the next generation. Today, we're diving into three Israeli technologies that could change everything. StoreDot's extreme fast charging silicon batteries, Finergy's aluminum air systems, and cutting edge solid state research at the Weizmann Institute. This is the story of the battery holy grail, and Israel might actually find it first. Let's start with the company that's furthest along, StoreDot. Founded in Herzliya in 2012, they've raised over $200 million from investors, including BP, Daimler, Samsung, and Volvo. Their tagline? 100 in 5. 100 miles of range, charged in 5 minutes. The 100 in X roadmap. 100 in 5 in 2024 to 2025. 100 miles in 5 minutes, silicon dominant anode. 100 in 3 in 2028, 100 miles in 3 minutes, semi-solid state. 100 in 2 in 2032, 100 miles in 2 minutes, full solid state. And here's the kicker. They're not waiting for solid state batteries to be perfect. StoreDot is commercializing extreme fast charging now with silicon-based lithium-ion batteries real batteries in real cars this year. So what makes StoreDot's batteries different? It all comes down to the anode, the negative electrode where lithium ions are stored during charging. Traditional Lion battery, anode, graphite, or carbon. Charging speed, limited by Lion ion diffusion into graphite layers. Energy density, about 250 watt hours per kilogram, pack level. StoreDot XCF battery, Anode, silicon dominant composite, organic and inorganic nanoparticles. Charging speed, 10 times faster lithium ion insertion. Energy density, about 320 watt hours per kilogram, pack level, 30% higher. Silicon can absorb lion ions 10 times faster than graphite. The problem? Silicon swells by 300% when it absorbs lithium. It expands and contracts like a balloon, inflating and deflating with every charge cycle. After 50 cycles, traditional silicon anodes crack and die. StoreDot's breakthrough is silicon nanoparticles. Instead of big chunks of silicon that crack, they use microscopic silicon particles embedded in an organic matrix. The particles can expand and contract without breaking apart. It's like the difference between bending a thick glass rod, which breaks, versus bending a bundle of glass fibers, flexible. Real-world performance in 2024. 1,000 plus fast charge cycles. 10% to 80% in 10 minutes maintains 80% capacity after 1,000 cycles. Energy density, greater than 320 watt-hours per kilogram at pack level. No degradation. Consecutive extreme fast charging show identical degradation to slow charging. Ambient temperature works at 35 degrees Celsius without cooling systems.
That last point is crucial. These batteries were tested in brutal conditions. 35 degrees Celsius ambient temperature, consecutive 10-minute fast charges over and over, and they showed no additional degradation compared to slow charging. That means you can fast charge every single time without worrying about killing your battery. But lab prototypes and commercial products are two different things. StoreDot is manufacturing with EVE Energy, one of the world's largest battery makers. The genius? Their batteries work on existing lithium-ion production lines. No new factories, no new equipment. You can make these at scale today. Over 15 global automakers are currently testing StoreDot's batteries in real vehicles. In April 2024, Polestar publicly demonstrated a Polestar 5 prototype charging in 10 minutes. That's not a press release, that's a working car. So what's the catch? Why isn't every EV using these already? Two reasons, cost and infrastructure. Cost reality. StoreDot silicon batteries, 20 to 30% more expensive than standard lithium ion currently. Requires 350 kilowatt ultra fast chargers, $150,000 plus per station. Most public charges today, 50 to 150 kilowatts, too slow for XFC. StoreDot argues that you can use smaller battery packs if charging is instant. Why put an 80 kilowatt hour battery in a car when a 50 kilowatt hour battery plus five minute charging gives you the same experience? Smaller pack equals lower cost, less weight, better efficiency. The math works if infrastructure keeps up. Okay, StoreDot is pushing lithium ion to its limits, but the real holy grail is solid state batteries. And to understand why everyone's chasing them, you need to understand one simple swap. Traditional lithium ion, electrolyte, liquid organic solvents, flammable, separator, porous plastic film, problem can catch fire if damaged, solid state battery, Electrolyte, solid ceramic or polymer, non-flammable. No separator needed, solid electrolyte is the separator. Promise, safer plus higher energy density. By replacing flammable liquid with solid ceramic or polymer, you eliminate thermal runaway fires, and you can use a pure lithium metal anode, the ultimate energy density. Theoretically, solid-state batteries could deliver 500 watt-hours per kilogram, double current EVs. But there's a brutal problem that's haunted solid-state batteries for decades, lithium dendrites. Tiny metallic whiskers that grow from the lithium anode during charging. For years, scientists believed solid electrolytes would stop dendrites because they're mechanically strong. But recent studies proved that was wrong. Dendrites grow through solid electrolytes and sometimes even more severely than in liquid systems. In January 2025, researchers published findings in Nature Materials showing that dendrites in solid-state batteries form through two distinct mechanisms. First, non-uniform lithium plating at the electrode-electrolyte interface. Second, lithium ion reduction at grain boundaries inside the solid electrolyte itself. As lithium plates unevenly, internal stress accumulates. At dendrite tips, stress can exceed the fracture strength of the ceramic. The electrolyte cracks. Molten lithium fills the crack. The dendrite propagates. Eventually, it bridges anode to cathode. Battery dead. This is where Israeli science comes in. At the Weizmann Institute, Professor McCall Leskis and her team are using advanced solid-state NMR spectroscopy to study exactly what happens at the atomic level when dendrites form. Their breakthrough? Identifying the role of the Solid Electrolyte Interface, or SEI, a nanometer-thick layer that forms on dendrites. By characterizing the chemical composition of this layer, they discovered which compounds slow dendrite growth and which accelerate it. 
This isn't about building batteries yet, it's fundamental material science, understanding the failure mechanisms so we can engineer around them. Classic Israeli research approach. Go deep into the science, then commercialize later. Major players. Toyota and Itamitsu targeting 2028 production with sulfide electrolytes. QuantumScape USA ceramic separator partnered with Volkswagen. Samsung SDI Korea oxide electrolyte 2027 target. Factorial Energy USA slash Israel Connection Quasi Solid Electrolyte Mercedes Partnership. Store.Israel, Israel Semi Solid State by 2028 Full Solid State by 2032. Incremental Evolution, not Revolutionary Leap. Now, let's talk about the technology that breaks all the rules Finergy's Aluminum Air Batteries. This Israeli company, founded in 2009, took a completely different approach, and it's so crazy it might actually work. Aluminum air batteries don't store energy in lithium, they generate electricity through a chemical reaction. Aluminum plus oxygen from air plus water gives aluminum hydroxide plus electricity. The system, anode, pure aluminum plates, cathode, air-breathing electrode pulling oxygen from atmosphere, electrolyte, potassium hydroxide solution, byproduct, aluminum hydroxide, recyclable. The energy density is insane, three times higher than lithium ion at the pack level. An aluminum air battery the same weight as a Tesla's battery pack could theoretically deliver 1,750 kilometers of range. So, what's the catch? Oh, there are several. First, you can't recharge it. Aluminum is consumed in the reaction. When the plates are used up, you swap them out. It's more like refueling than recharging. The challenges. Not rechargeable, requires swapping aluminum plates every 500 to 1,000 kilometers. Water consumption, needs water top up every few hundred kilometers. Infrastructure, need aluminum plate swap stations like propane tank exchanges. Fast refueling, three minutes to swap plates. Recyclable, aluminum hydroxide to pure aluminum, 95% recovery. Cheap, aluminum costs far less than lithium. Finergy's strategy is brilliant. Don't compete with Tesla in the West, go where lithium is scarce and aluminum is abundant. India. IOC Finergy Partnership. A 50 50 joint venture between Indian Oil Corporation and Finergy. Manufactured 100 aluminum plates for a 50 seater bus around 500 kilometers range. Partnerships with Hindalco, aluminum producer for RD and recycling. Testing with Maruti Suzuki, Mahindra, and Ashok Leyland. India has 600 million tons of bauxite reserves, aluminum ore. They're aluminum rich, but lithium poor. For India, aluminum air makes strategic sense. Use domestic resources instead of importing lithium from China. But here's where Finergy is actually making money today. Stationary backup power for telecom towers. They've deployed systems in around 10% of Cellcom's towers in Israel, and they're expanding to Italy and Spain. Why it works? 20 to 30 hours of backup power versus diesel generators, zero emissions versus diesel, no maintenance for months versus batteries that degrade, lower cost than diesel fuel long term. They're also piloting with data centers as diesel generator replacements. The business model, sell backup power now, use that revenue to fund EV development later. Smart. Let's zoom out. Whether it's StoreDot's silicon, solid-state ceramics, or Finergy's aluminum, they're all fighting the same enemy. Material science is brutally hard. The interface between the electrode and electrolyte is where everything happens and everything fails. Lithium ions must cross this interface billions of times per charge cycle. Any imperfection creates resistance, heat, or dendrite nucleation sites. Researchers are developing lithiophilic interlayers, materials like silver, zinc, or tin that guide uniform lithium deposition. But each solution works for specific electrolytes under specific conditions. There's no universal fix. Making one perfect battery in a lab, achievable. Making a billion batteries per year with 0.01% defect rates, that's the real challenge. 
Toyota announced partnership with Itamitsu to produce solid-state batteries starting in 2028. That's the timeline for a company with infinite resources. And then there's the elephant in the room. China controls 80% of global battery production. StoreDot manufactures with EV energy in China. Finergy partners with Indian companies to avoid Chinese dependency. But the supply chain reality is brutal. Israel can invent the technology, but scaling to gigawatt hours of production? That requires either massive capital investment in domestic factories or partnering with Asian battery giants who have the infrastructure. Okay, let's cut through the hype and talk about realistic timelines for when you'll actually see these technologies in cars you can buy. The Real Roadmap 2024-2025 Store.Silicon Silicon 100 in 5 Technology ready now. OEM testing in progress. Manufacturing partner confirmed. EVE Energy. Waiting on ultra-fast charging infrastructure build-out. Likelihood? High. First commercial vehicles by 2025-2026. 2027-2028. to 2028. Semi-solid state. Store dot. Others. Technology demonstrated in labs. Scaling challenges remain. Cost still 50 to 100% higher than lithium-ion. Likelihood, medium. Luxury premium EVs first. 2028 to 2032. Full solid state. Many unsolved materials challenges. No confirmed mass production facility yet. Cost, unknown. Likelihood, low for mass market, medium for premium vehicles. 2025 to 2030, aluminum air, Finergy, works for backup power today. EV application requires swap infrastructure. India deployment only, for now. Likelihood, niche, regional markets, not global. Here's my honest take. StoreDot is the most likely to succeed in the next three years because they're not waiting for perfect solid state. They're shipping incremental improvements now. Finergy is a wild card, brilliant for specific use cases, backup power, India, but probably not replacing lithium ion globally. And solid state? It's coming, but anyone promising mass production before 2028 is selling vaporware. The material science challenges are real, and they take time. But here's what excites me. Israel is punching way above its weight in this race. A country of 9.7 million people has StoreDot, leading XC technology. Finergy, pioneering metal air batteries. Weizmann Institute, cutting-edge dendrite research. Technion, solid electrolyte development multiple battery startups in stealth mode. This isn't an accident. Israel invested heavily in electrochemistry research in the 2000s to 2010s when nobody else cared. Now, as the world desperately needs better batteries, that investment is paying off. The battery holy grail isn't one technology, it's a portfolio. Fast charging silicon for today, solid state for tomorrow, and wild cards like aluminum air for specific niches, and Israel is developing all three simultaneously. Which technology do you think will win? Fast charging silicon that works now, solid state in 2030, or something nobody's talking about yet? Let me know in the comments. Until then, stay curious, stay ambitious, and remember, the future isn't built by the biggest companies. It's built by the smartest scientists solving impossible problems. See you next time.